This is the Samsung Flex Wash um, washer. I'll do the dryer in a minute. Um, basically it has two compartments. The lower one here and the top one here. This is for a smaller load. You can put liquid bleach here, softener here. You close this if you put a load in there till it clicks. Then you close this top one. Turn it on by holding it down for two seconds. And then your options are normal, which changes the time, it changes the temp, and it may or may not change that. Delicates, different time, active wear, or you could just do a rinse and a spin. Um, I'm going to turn it off because I'm not washing anything there. This is the lower one. It's large capacity. It holds quite a bit, far more than my top load did. Um, a light comes on, which is helpful, and it can turn off. It has an automatic off timer, um, not too much longer. I didn't never timed it before. Um, right now I have some rags and towels in there. And uh, you would put the soap, softener, and or bleach, if you use it, up here. I actually don't have a soap. I have something called Crystal Wash Ceramic Beads. Um, it's approved for high efficiency machines. So I put these in here with mine. Close it. Turn it on by holding this down. You don't even need to, um, it's not a button so much as it's touch sensitive. So all the settings, there's normal, heavy duty, white, sanitized, delicates, permanent press, towels, bedding, quick wash, eco cold, active wear, and just a rinse and spin. And every time you choose a setting, it changes up here. You can change the temperature on your own, though. For example, I'm going to do normal for my rags. Um, but maybe I want it to be hot. Um, rinsing three times, that's for my last load. So I'm going to change that to rinsing two times. That's about the normal that it usually does. High spin, normal soil. I don't change those very often because I have pretty basic laundry. Um, you can also do a pre-soak, delay, and self-clean. And then also these machines are um, capable for Wi-Fi connection to your smart device. And you just download the app, and then when it's done, you connect to them, and when it's done, it tells you on, on your phone. So that's really useful, too. So now that everything's in there, I chose all my settings. I hold this down, and it starts doing its thing. And it's timed 44 minutes.